In the previous video, we started to develop a particle generator, and in this video, we'll continue with the development. So, so far, this is what we had. We had a particle generator object and a particle object. And the particle generator object had that particles attribute that we'll be using to uh, store the particles. First of all, we're going to be defining the position where all the particles are going to be generated. So we're going to be using the center variable. And the center variable is going to be an object where we'll need to specify x and y with the center of uh, the particle generator. So now that we have defined the center, what we need to do is to generate the particles. And if you paid attention, you will see that I have initialized i with 0. We're going to go through all the count of particles. And for each one, we're going to be assigning the center in the x-axis, the center in the y-axis, the velocity in the x-axis, let's say 1, and the y-axis, let's also say 1. And now what we're going to be doing is to basically generate the particles. So we're going to be adding new elements to these particles at uh, attribute. So we're going to be creating a new particle object and we're going to be passing as parameters x, y, vx, and vy. So it's actually very simple. So this will basically generate, take care of generating all the different particles down there, right? Down there. That line. So we, we have that, we have defined the center, and uh, now it's time to start integrating the, the particle generator in the main block of code. So we're also going to be adding uh, an update method to the, pro to the particle generator. And this update method will take care of calling the update method of each particle. So again, we need to go through the count of all the different uh, particles that we have. So let's change this to this dot count and yes, that's fine. Looks fine, I think. And let's also make uh, that reference to that, to the colors. So let's uh, add the for loop and within this loop what we're going to be doing is to basically call the uh, the update method of each particle but first we need to check the boundaries of each object because remember that particles could be outside the screen so we need to check that the particles are within the screen and if they are within the screen uh, we're going to start processing, otherwise it, it's going to can always uh, process the particles whether or not the particle is being displayed on the screen. And that's a complete waste of resources. So we're going to be basically checking uh, for the, the size of, you know, we're going to be checking the boundaries of, of the object itself. and. Uh, and uh, y would be less than this container uh, the height and when we need to add dot width up there. Alright. So if this meets the conditions we're going to be calling the update uh, method on the particle itself. So this is basically how it will work. Right. So finally we're going to draw the particle itself by specifying the position of the current particle being processed in the x-axis obviously and the current particle in the y-axis and we're going to be giving it you know representing it with a five a five by five pixel square in the next video we'll continue with the development